Hi, I'm Victor at Vimundo.com and today we are going to unleash our creativity and replace the default mouse cursor with a custom image. Let's go! All the resources needed are available in this blog post on Divimundo.com and if you're watching this directly on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below the video. So the first thing that you need is to create your custom cursor image. There are some things about the formats that you need to think about. Uh, I would recommend a transparent PNG. There should be support for SVG, but I've had some problems in some browsers when trying that out. Also make them 32 times 32 pixels in height and width, or at least not bigger than that for compatibility with most modern web browsers like Firefox. You could also download this free mouse cursor pack from the blog post by subscribing to our newsletter. Then you will have cursor images in the correct size and format. I'll head over to my WordPress dashboard and I'll go to media and add new to upload my cursor images. And I have six of them here in PNG format. So I'll just upload them. A boxing glove, a purple arrow, a spaceman, a lightning, a finger and a rocket. Now I will head back to the blog post. The first step is to add a custom cursor to the entire website globally. So I'll start by copying this little CSS snippet and I'll head back to my WordPress dashboard and I go to appearance and customize. From the theme customizer, I will head down to additional CSS and I will paste the snippet. And as you can see, I will target the entire body and I will use the property cursor and the URL. And now I need to replace the my folder slash my cursor PNG URL. So I'll go back to my media library. And as you can see, there's a copy URL to clipboard button. So this comes in handy. So we could start by using the rocket. So I'll copy that URL to the clipboard and I'll go back to the theme customizer and let's select the URL and paste it. And now you can see that I have immediately a new mouse cursor on the website. However, if I hover a button or just a text link, you will see the default pointer icon or the default, default pointer cursor instead. So if I want to change that one, we have another snippet. Let's scroll down, replacing the default hand icon for links. So I'll copy that snippet and I'll go back to the theme customizer. And as you can see, it's pretty similar to the first one, but we target the body and then the A tag. So that's for links. And now you would probably want to use another pointer uh, or another icon that you use for the rest of the content. So your visitors understand what content is linked and what's not. So I'll head back to my media library and this time we can use the boxing glove. So I'll copy that URL. I'll go back and I'll replace the URL here in the CSS. And now you can see the boxing glove when I hover links and the rocket when I hover the rest of the content. A trick to slim down your CSS is that you can actually remove the first part of the URL, the domain. So it just starts with a slash. So this is a local link and I'll do the same here. So it starts with slash WP content. Uh, so it will still work, but you have less clutter in your CSS. So let's publish that one. The next step is to add a custom cursor to a specific page or post. And uh, it's really straightforward if you're using Divi, but I will also show how you can do it with other themes. I'll copy this snippet for Divi and I'll head back to my website and I will enable the visual builder for the page where I want to change the mouse cursor. And now I will expand the uh, Divi Builder menu by clicking the purple circle in the bottom middle and I will click the cogwheel to edit the page settings. From there I will click advanced and custom CSS and I will paste the snippet here. So this targets the body of this specific page. And now I just have to change the URL. So I'll head back to my media library 
And in this case, we might want to use the lightning. So I'll copy the URL. Maybe it's called a flash. And I'll head back to the DV Builder and I paste my URL. And I can actually shorten it just using the local URL like that. Now I have to exit the Visual Builder to preview this. So I'll save. And now you can see that we have this nice lightning cursor. And just as before, you can add another tag with an A or sorry, another CSS snippet with an A if you want to change the links as well. If you don't use Divi, there's a way. Well, the easiest way is to start use Divi, but if you prefer another theme, you can use this snippet here where you target a specific page ID. So I'll start by copying that one and I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard. And first I have to figure out the page ID or the post ID that I want to target. So I go to my pages and let's target the about page. It's this one. So I will hover it and in the bottom left corner I can see post equals and then I can see a number. And in this, in this case it's 747. So that's my page ID. So now I'll head over to the appearance and the theme customizer and I'll expand additional CSS and I will open the about me page. So I only want to change the cursor on this page. So you can see that it uses the default cursor right now. So I'll paste the snippet and you can see that it has page ID one, two, three. So I'll just change one, two, three to seven, four, seven. And now I'll go to my media library and let's use the purple arrow. So I'll copy the URL. Back in the theme customizer, I will replace this URL. There we go. And now you can see that this specific page has the purple arrow. In the last step, we are going to add a custom cursor to a specific element on a page or a post. So that could be a section, a row, a column, or just a specific module like a button or a blurb. So I'll start by copying this CSS snippet and I'll head over to my website and I'll go to the theme customizer. And in the additional CSS, I will paste the snippet and uh, as you can see, I will now target a specific class called dm-cursor that I just created. Uh, so let's paste the URL to one of my uh, mouse cursors. We can use maybe the spaceman this time. So we'll copy that URL and I'll go back to the theme customizer and I will paste it. And let's remove the URL to keep it slim. Sorry, remove the domain to keep it slim and I will publish. So now I have to assign this class DM cursor to my element. So I will exit the theme customizer and I will enable the DV visual builder on this page. So I want the mouse cursor to change into the spaceman whenever the visitor hovers this blue section here. So I'll go to this section settings by clicking the cogwheel and I'll go to advanced and I'll go to CSS ID and classes. And now I will add the class DM hyphen cursor to this element. And now I have to exit the visual builder to preview it. So I'll save and exit. And now we can see that we have the default cursor in this section. But if I scroll down here, we have the beautiful spaceman flying around in this section. So that's how you add a custom image cursor to a specific element in Divi. That's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.